State television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, statement by the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Azerbaijan launched large-scale attack in northern Artsakh. We have casualties. Arturun Hovanisyan, Armenia's Ministry of Emergency Situation, delivers humanitarian aid to Artsakh. The Azerbaijani side continues to target civilian settlements. We must use all means to defend ourselves, Armenian PM tells the Washington Post. UN Security Council calls for hostilities in Artsakh to end immediately. Historic ruins have emerged in Guards are Pachai Dam after the water level dropped. To Mr. Richard Ferran, President of the French National Assembly, Mr. President, following the unilateral attacks carried out by the Republic of Azerbaijan on September 27, 2020 against the Armenian civilian population of the Autonomous Republic of Artsakh, the deputies of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia gathered today in a plenary session, mandated me to transmit all the parliaments of the world to the media as well as to the general public our strong condemnation of the well-planned attacks of Azerbaijan against the Armenian nation. The National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia also calls on the international community and the Minsk group in particular to condemn the aggression of Azerbaijan in violation of the international law and to participate in stopping these criminal attacks against Armenian civilian population through diplomatic channels for the restoration of order and immediate ceasefire. The National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia denounces that attacks were planned by Azerbaijan with the explicit support of Turkey. It should be noted that the independent Republic of Artsakh has an indigenous population living on its lands for more than 10,000 years, with 95% of its population being Armenian, in full compliance with the right of self-determination of indigenous people adopted by the United Nations on September 13, 2007. As usual, both Azerbaijan and Turkey distort the truth and historical facts. The National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia reiterates that Azerbaijan as executor of acts of war and Turkey as accomplice and instigator will be held responsible for all human losses as well as material and moral damages. Renewing our deep gratitude and friendship mutual commitments in the framework of stability and world peace, the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia sends your assurance of its highest consideration, Leonardo Basmajan, President of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. In the morning, the Azerbaijani forces launched a large-scale offensive in the northern direction of Artsakh. At the moment, battles are going on that direction. Arturun Havanisian, a representative of the Ministry of Defense of Armenia, told during today's briefing. We must clearly state that many means are used, including long-distance precision means a large amount of artillery. Our armed forces are heroically resisting. We naturally have casualties about whom we will report additionally. The adversary also has suffered losses of both manpower and armored vehicles, he said. The residents of Yerevan and provinces of Armenia have prepared packages containing different items for sending to Artsakh. The packages are transferred to the Ministry of Emergency Situations through the municipalities and provincial governorates aimed to delivering them to Artsakh. For this purpose, a working group has been formed by the Order of Minister of Emergency Situations, Felix Tolakian. The Ministry once again urges citizens to act in a coordinated manner for providing humanitarian aid to the people of Artsakh, in particular to contact their local self-government bodies for the process to be targeted and addressed. The Azerbaijani armed forces continue targeting the civilian settlements of Artsakh. Artsakh presidential spokesman Bahram Bogusian said at a press conference. At this moment, there are no major problems with infrastructures. The economy continues developing normally. The problems emerge mainly in those parts which are under the adversary's shelling. But these problems are immediately being solved and the operation of all infrastructures is being restored, he said. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan gave an interview to the Washington Post over the ongoing military aggression and operations unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh. The PM also talked about Turkey's involvement in the ongoing operations and the PM's office told the Armenian press. An official from the Public Relations Department of the Republic of Armenia Prime Minister's office told the Armenian press that the Republic of Armenia Prime Minister also spoke about Turkey's involvement. The article by David Ignatius is presented below. The escalating conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan has taken a dangerous new turn with Turkey's reported shutdown Tuesday of an Armenian fighter jet. The Armenian Prime Minister said in an interview that he fears a wider war between Turkey and Armenia. What is happening today is a war declared against the Armenian people, Pashinyan argued. He 
He said that because of Turkey's historic conflict with Armenia, his country faces an existential threat. Asked about the threat of an attack from Nahi Javan, Pashinyan said that he declared martial law and stressed we must use all means to defend ourselves. In a joint statement adopted by the Extraordinary Assembly, the 15 members called for the immediate resumption of the constructive talks. On September 29, the UN Security Council unanimously adopted a declaration on the immediate cessation of the hostilities. It is already the third day that hot battles are taking place between Azerbaijan and Artsakh, France Press Agency reports. The 15 members of the Security Council expressed their support for the Secretary General's call on both sides to stop the fighting immediately, diffuse tension and resume constructive negotiation without delay, says their statement adopted during an emergency meeting requested by the European countries of the Council. They strongly condemn the use of force and regret the loss of life among the civilian population, she added, expressing the Council's concern over reports of large-scale military actions along the line of contact of demarcation in Artsakh. The text finally affirms the Council's full support for the central role of the co-chairs of the Minsk Group of Organization of Security and Cooperation in Europe, and urges the parties to work closely with them for an urgent resumption of the dialogue without preconditions. In the province of Gars, Western Armenia, with the decrease of the water level of the Arpache Reservoir, symmetry belonging to the Wertium period with human bones was discovered. Cultural heritage expert and historian Faruk Torunoglu said that the Akyaka Arpacha districts have a very old history. Torunoglu commented as follows, if we take into account that the villagers say about the former existence of the Urertians here, then the fact that all this is left by the Urertians is possible. However, studies are still ongoing. When the tombstones and human bones are examined, a definite conclusion will be reached. The area is generally under protection and necessary steps have been taken. Now let us represent your attention a song by Karin Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.